Hi Cancer, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Well, Manix and I both hope that for you. This is going to be a general love reading for the first half of December 2021, and it's going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Manix might hang around with us. Um, hopefully he will make some space here so that you guys can all see the cards. Um, but yeah, this reading is going to be general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> and if you do want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, Cancer. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. So let's see what's going on with Cancer. What is the overall energy for the first half of December? All right, we have big dreams, okay. So you, you are, or another person or the both of you might have a big dream, all right, concerning love, concerning a particular connection here. But it might feel like it's just that, like a dream. Not knowing if it's actually going to manifest, but let's, let's get into it and see. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. First half of December, what is going on here? What are these big dreams? Who's having them? Let's see. For the main energy here, or starting off the reading, which is the situation, we have the Six of Wands crossed by the star. Yeah, so there's a lot of wishing here. There's a lot of wishing and I feel like actually what the issue is, um, somebody is really trying to achieve something here, trying to achieve a goal, wanting to be victorious, wanting something to be successful. But it's almost like the issue is, is that it feels more of something that's a wish, more of something that's a big dream. Um, and possibly, you know, it's, it, it doesn't feel like it's happening right now. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands. All right, so a lot of passion, a lot of desire, possibly even confidence that this would happen or that this will happen. In the near future, we have the Four of Cups. Hmm. For your energy, we have the Three of the three of Cups for them, the Hermit. More about you is the Emperor for them, the Moon, and potential outcome here, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so yeah, it does feel like there might be a little bit of disappointment coming up, or um, somebody just not being very content, which could actually serve as a positive thing here, because if somebody's not going after their wish, after that big dream, well then, you know, feeling that discontent, feeling that boredom or, you know, whatever, might actually be what this person needs, you know, to get that push, whether it's you or them. Um, for you, I mean, I see you being in this Three of Cups energy. I feel like, I actually feel like you're really trying to take control over your life. I do feel like there's this essence of you wanting a reconciliation or wanting things to just be, you know, happy. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify why what the Emperor is trying to say here. Um, again, roles can be reversed though. Um, for them, we have the Hermit and the Moon. Okay, so that's Virgo and Pisces energy that is showing up. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with one of those two signs or if your person has those signs strongly in their chart, or maybe you do. But yeah, it feels like this person is actually keeping to themselves right now, possibly being a little bit mysterious. I feel like there's a lot of confusion here, just not really knowing exactly what is going on or not knowing how to move with this, within this connection here. I feel like there might be some illusions just kind of stuck like in a fantasy type of a world. We do have the Queen of Cups though in the potential outcome here, so that does talk about love as well as intuition. So yeah, let's clarify and see what's going on here. We also have Aquarius showing up. We also have Aries showing up. Yeah, let's see. Could be any sign, of course, that you're dealing with. So let's clarify the Six of Wands with the star. Alright, we 
have the Nine of Wands, the Sun, Leo energy also showing up, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody definitely knows what they want here. There's a very specific goal, this is what I'm getting. There's a very specific goal. Um, I mostly feel like this would be your person. I don't feel like it is you, unless the roles are reversed, okay? Because I see this more in line with the with the energy that we're getting here for this person. Um, it's almost like there's this this um, belief that achieving this goal, right, of a wish fulfillment is something that's like so crazy difficult. That the, it, It's like this feeling like it's just so hard, there's just so many obstacles that, you know, need to be cleared. Um, even though this would actually bring a lot of happiness, this is something that I really want. Yeah, I don't know what it is that feels so challenging. There could be that there's another that there's another person connected here that might be making this um, just kind of contributing to those challenges, all right, with this Queen of Pentacles, because I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is actually just like some. It's showing up to me as another energy. But we'll see. We'll this will clear up more as we go along. So let's see the Three of Cups for your energy. All right, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Swords. All right, I see. I feel like you're you're trying to actually move away from this connection. You're trying to take action um, in terms of emotionally detaching, and I feel like you're doing that by trying to be very social, trying to you know possibly like expand your horizons when it comes to you know just going out or being in, involved in other things, in other situations, meeting new people possibly. So I feel like that's just a way that you're trying to cope with this. Let me see the Emperor. All right, the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Yeah, you're trying to really be practical about this. I feel like you're trying to think along very practical terms. Like, okay, what can I do to get myself away from this? Because this is just a dream. It is just a fantasy. Um, and I feel like the reason why you're, you're feeling that and why you're in that energy is because that's the energy that the other person here is in. And so you're like, well, you know, if, it, if that's what it is to them, well, then they're not doing anything about it. So, well, then ultimately that's what it is to me too. Like, it's just a dream. It's not something that's going to actually um, manifest. And so you're trying to take a very practical approach in order to feel like you, you're you getting some control over your own life and, you know, just trying to really organize your life, put things in order. And I do feel like there's a part of you that, you know, that's almost like a distraction from how you truly feel about this person, right? Because we do have the lovers here. So it's like a, a way of controlling your feelings and what you feel about the connection. And I mean, I don't blame you because, you know, you feel like you will, you got to do something. You can't just sit here, you know, wishing for something that apparently isn't showing up, right? So I just don't know how easy it will be to like really um, get to a place where you're going to feel a lot better if you know you're just if this is you know the only way that you are moving away from this I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be social actually I think that's very very healthy but I feel like the message here is to make sure that you're not ignoring that that um, lovers energy that you feel for this connection because it will just creep back up let's see what's going on with them let's see this hermit Ten of Swords, 
the Knight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, this person is getting a lot of major energies um, showing up here. Um, also wanted to say Gemini is also showing up. Um, this person is feeling a lot of pain, number one, and that this is why they're actually keeping to themselves. I feel like they, so this is someone who might actually be ghosting you at the moment or has just pulled back their energy a lot, but know that they, they're actually feeling a lot of pain. They're, they're confused. They're trying to figure out which way to go, what exactly to do, what kind of actions to take in order to turn this wheel in, in a different direction. They're trying to make a shift here. And you may have felt like their energy has actually shifted, but just not in the way that you would have wanted them to. It's almost coming in as this person having lost some kind of hope, some kind of a drive, which I feel was there at some point in the recent past. And so maybe this person just came to this realization that, you know, no, like, what am I doing? Like, I can't do this. It's too hard. Or they may have tried and then failed. And so now they're feeling that defeat. Let's see the moon. All right, the nine of pentacles, the page of wands, the page of pentacles, and we also got one more here, which is the chariot. I don't know what these illusions are about, um, but I, I definitely feel like this person is having some, some, a lot of doubts, which are actually illusions. They have two pages here. I feel like there is a lot of, um, thinking about communicating here. Thinking about the direction that they also want to take, but this is also coming in with wanting to communicate, especially with the chariot being here as well. But it's like th these they're seeing something from a very distorted perspective. And I almost want to say that for some of them, for some of them, it could be a fear of losing their independence. So it could be like a fear of commitment here, which could be why we have this queen of pentacles here, because this could be representing, you know, the fact that they're seeing you as somebody that they could actually um, be with on a very serious level, on a very um, serious basis, long term. And although that does create some happiness, it does bring them this sense of fulfillment, it also makes them feel like this would be something very, very difficult, and so it's just like this, it's easier for them to keep it as a fantasy. And that could be what this distortion is. fear of losing um, their independence and losing control over their life. And I feel like there is the, there is a little bit of a sense of them losing, losing control here over themselves. And I feel like they're, they're seeing this though, for, it, it, it's, it's like a little bit of immaturity, the way that they're viewing this. Let's see that Four of Cups. be a fear of stability, right? Feeling like there would be an end to them being able to be more free and to change their minds and to just be carefree. But I actually feel like that's not what's in alignment with this person though. It's just a fear. All right, so clarifying the four of cups for the near future, we, well, we got four cards again. All right, we have the two of swords, the Five of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Devil. Oh my gosh, okay, like all the negative cards together here. Um, Capricorn also showing showing up here. Yeah, so this is actually going to lead to a lot of disappointment. I feel like it's mostly going to be for them. Um, it could be a little bit for you as well, but I'm mostly seeing this as being their energy. 
Um, for you, it could be disappointment if you are, you know, waiting and expecting for this person to, you know, just come in big because I feel like they're not at the moment. But I actually see you trying to detach, trying to, you know, do, do you basically, you know, create your own life here. Um, so I feel like they're the ones who are going to be left feeling unhappy, left feeling disappointed in, in their own selves for not having, you know, made a decision and for just pretty much keeping themselves stuck in this, stuck in this fear, stuck in this toxicity of their own mind, right, of, of not moving basically, like it's just so self-deceptive in the sense that, you know, they feel like they're winning because by keeping their distance, you know, then, well then, they're not having to lose their freedom or they're not having to be responsible but then that comes with a cost and that cost is that unhappiness boredom I feel like this person is going to actually feel very bored um, <laughs> with their freedom <laughs> However, that makes sense. Yeah, so that could actually be what needs to happen, as I said in the very beginning, in order to push them in a different direction. So let's see that Queen of Cups for the potential outcome here. All right, and we have the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, and Judgment. Okay, yeah, so this is this person actually coming back to their heart space, right? Being in touch with their feelings, like really feeling their emotions, which are actually going to be pretty unpleasant. Pretty unpleasant, having avoided, you know, whatever, whatever this is, this connection, having avoided that dream, having avoided that wish, it's leading to a lot of heartbreak, but guess what? That's the wake-up call with judgment. That's the wake-up call. So basically they're having a major wake-up call here through the pain that they will feel for having snuck away from this because their emotions are like coming up to play, basically. I'm also getting a double message here that this is just, um, just a message for you to also, you know, make sure that you're not avoiding your own, your own pain, okay? Um, because I feel like that... Like I said, it's going to creep up on you, judgment, if you do that, if you avoid your feelings for this, you know, and I mean, what does that even mean? That just means, you know, be aware of them, acknowledge them, acknowledge how you feel, allow yourself to feel how you feel, don't just try to cover it up by, you know, being very social or going out or occupying yourself with, with other things, basically. So yeah, I do see that there is um, some shifts happening here. There is definitely some kind of a wake-up call, somebody being able to make that discernment that, you know what, I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy when I'm avoiding what I want. And I do feel like what this person wants, right, which is this connection, it's achievable. It really is achievable, all right, with that Six of Wands being that very first card out. So yeah, Cancer. Let's see the final message for you. And if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. Okay, we have, we actually got two. So we have finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. I feel like that's definitely um, related to what we've been saying, right? Opening up to how you truly feel and on a spiritual level as well. And then we also have uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. So yeah, there is a treasure here that is achievable, basically what I was just saying. So those were your messages, Cancer. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.